hi in this video going to learn about the kyoto channel complete strategy and you are going to be able to download this complete strategy for free so all you have to do is simply use this coupon code and you're going to get 100 percent off but before you jump in and download this complete strategy first of all try to learn about it and how it works so what is this strategy and how does it work so the Keltner channel strategy is a combination of two indicators that is the Keltner channel which is a classical technical analysis indicator developed by Chester W. Keltner in 1960 so it is named after his name. So the indicator resembles Bollinger bands and envelopes in appearance you are going to see it shortly okay. So the indicator resembles Bollinger bands okay. The middle line is a 10 day simple moving moving average applied to the normal price. Okay, while the upper lower bands are created by adding and subtracting the daily range moving average, which are the high and the low difference from the middle line. So, because of this, it creates a volatility based channel and you can change all of the moving averages parameters in this version of the indicator. Okay, and as for me, I only trade. Uh, derive indices on MetaTrader 5 so this indicator works on, on MetaTrader 5 but if you need the MetaTrader 4 version I can do it for you here is the interesting part so to help you make better entries and exits so this computer strategy comes with an additional custom indicator called Keltner Assistant which is made by me so this Keltner Assistant is a fully unique indicator that does not rely on normal mt4 or mt5 indicators so it shows in a separate window of the graphic or in your metatrader 5 dashboard and it displays the weighted trend line and it can be used to notify basic entry and exit so in this video we're going to learn how you can make use of these two indicators to uh, get better entries and exit so let's get started so i'm going to open my metadata 5 okay so this is my metadata 5 so i've already added these indicators to the metadata 5 uh, directory for indicators so by now you should be able to know how you can actually install custom indicators to metadata 5 otherwise if you do not know i have plenty of videos on that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus icon on the indicators and it's going to drop down and I'm simply going to scroll down and here is the Keltner channel indicator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the chart. Okay. And you can see that it displays the Keltner channel indicator. So you buy when the candle closes above the upper band and sell when the candle closes below the band okay so with this strategy there are actually two ways you can use to trade with this strategy and the first method is you buy when the candle closes above the upper band and you sell when the candle closes below the lower band okay and you can as well enter trades when you do the opposite of this that is you buy when you're supposed to sell and you sell when you're supposed to buy so we are going to analyze both situations okay so i've written up this to help you understand so the first strategy is you buy when price crosses the upper band and you sell when price crosses the lower band then strategy two you actually do the opposite you buy when price crosses the lower band and sell when price crosses the upper band so which strategy is better and when do you use any of these strategies well watch this video to the end so that you can understand better so let's begin with the first strategy which says buy when price crosses the upper band so when do you buy when price crosses the upper band okay so with the first strategy you can only buy this when price is an an uptrend so an example is just right here so here is where actually price crossed the upper band and with the first strategy it's saying that when price crosses the upper band you buy okay so if you enter a trade over here okay where should you place your stop loss so in this case like you can simply place your stop loss just below there 
the lower band which is this one over here so simply put okay the stop loss here then when it comes to take profit you can go on with a one-to-one -one risk ratio in this case your target profit might somewhere be like over here okay so this is the first strategy like you buy when price crosses the upper band okay don't worry if you don't understand any of this you understand soon then the second step is like selling so when you sell you sell when price crosses the lower band so when it comes to selling you also sell when it's in a downtrend so where is the downtrend over here so a, a perfect example of a downtrend is here so you're saying that you sell when price uh crosses the down or the lower band which is here so as you can see over here price okay and if you enter a trade at this point okay you probably enter a trade probably here okay and if you enter a trade here but then you can simply put your stop loss just above the upper band over here okay then you can go on with a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio so in this case the distance between the entry and the stop loss should be equal to the distance between the entry and the take profit which can somewhere be here so as you can see this is something achievable so now let me summarize on the first strategy so the first strategy is you buy okay when price okay you buy when price crosses the upper band and for this you need to follow a rule you have to make sure that price is actually in an uptrend okay then you sell when price crosses the lower band and you have to make sure that price is actually in a downtrend okay so this is good if you are uh, if you are seeing tra uh, swing trading but strategy number two is based for scalping okay so the first strategy is for if you like to swing trade okay or if you like to have long trades okay and it's a bit hard because you need to be able to identify when a new uptrend forms or when a new downtrend forms but i've got plenty of videos on how you can actually uh, know when a new trend is beginning to form okay so just in case you can't follow up with first strategy let's talk about strategy number two which you actually do the opposite okay so let me just delete this okay so for strategy number two this is where my custom indicator code um keltner assistant comes in so let us just try to add the keltner assistant which is this one over here okay and you can change the colors if you want but for now i'm going to simply leave it the way it is okay yeah, leave this the way it is colors leave it to magenta just like that i'm going to, to click on okay so now how do you use the assistant in strategy number two okay so let's go back again to the strategy number two it says that you buy when price crosses the lower band and sell when the price crosses the upper band okay so in this case okay so in this case like whenever price crosses the lower band you buy you buy you buy okay then whatever price crosses the upper band you sell okay you sell you sell you sell you sell okay this can work as well but following this rule my find yourself that sometimes when you enter a trade it leads into losses and that is why the keltner assistant comes in to help you prevent unnecessary losses so let me just delete this stuff over here okay 
So strategy number two says that you buy when price crosses the lower band. So how do you use it to get with your assistant? So for you to be able to minimize the necessary losses, always follow the Kelton assistant. So for example, okay, if you'd like to enter a trade, enter a trade here when price breaks out of the Keltner uh, assistant and as you can see like when you buy when price has moved below the 0 0.2 level and as you can see over here price did move below the 0 0.2 level but let us say you entered a trade over here if you entered a trade over here okay let us say you bought okay you, and probably you set a stop loss over here your trade would have been closed because price was still uh just above the 0 0.5 level so for you to be able to minimize the necessary losses always wait until price crosses above the 0 0.2 another example is this one so as you can see over here price was below the 0 0.2 and when you buy price did really go up even here price did really go up so let us say you enter the trade here when price just broke out of the lower band as you can see okay price was still in the above 0 0.8 which does not make sense okay so let me show you some more examples let me just rub these okay here is another perfect example so let us say you bought over here so as you can see when you buy over here price was still above 0 0.8 okay if this price did go up it continues to go down because this is a downtrend so for you to be able to make some good profit the best way to enter okay so here is another example so let us say you enter a trade here yeah it's a perfect entry you buy because price was below the 0 0.2 although price did not go up this looks like a consolidation price did not go up or down but otherwise price did really go up when you count it from here to here but otherwise you simply have to put a stop loss tightly so another example is here when it's, let's say you bought over here yes it's a good entry because price was below the 0 0.2 even here price will okay here price was not below the 0 0.2 but it was near 0 0.2 and you can clearly tell that price did really go up okay so let us say you bought here another good entry let us say you bought here yeah price was below 0 0.2 it's a good entry so this example i'm showing you that for buy how about selling so let me just delete this stuff and i show you some selling uh good entries so when it comes to selling we are told that you sell when price crosses the upper band in strategy number two so when do you sell so here are some examples okay so a perfect example is here here is a perfect time to sell and you can clearly see that price was above 0 0.80 so this is the best time to sell okay and another good time to sell okay is here so as you can see let us say you sold over here and price was above 0 0.80 but even if price did not go uh, down like it went up and it continues to go up so as i said earlier on if you remember very well i said this strategy is a scalping strategy strategy number two this means that you will only enter trades for a shorter time and exit as soon as possible. So in this case, we're simply scalping, making a quick profit before the market reverses, okay? But it's possible that you might be able to long trades for long, but in some cases, the most of the trades are going to be short. So in this case, you only trade when, probably when price hits the middle moving average, okay? So another good example to sell is this point price did really cross the upper band and you can clearly see price was above 0, 0.0 and price did really go down but if price came down it's again 
okay went up so with this strategy number two what you have to do is when you enter a trade don't stay long you have to come out that's when when you start noticing price starts going the opposite direction so i think these are enough uh, examples so i guess i've explained a lot so let me just summarize on what i've talked about then i end the video so i said in strategy number one you buy when price crosses the upper band <coughs> and the only condition you have to meet is that you have to make sure that price is in an uptrend okay then you sell when price crosses the lower band and the only condition you have to meet is that price is in a downtrend and i said either on that this strategy is best for swing trading if you'd like to have long deals okay and strategy number two this is where you actually do the opposite so for doing the opposite you can actually make use of the assistant and you buy when price crosses the lower band sell when price crosses the upper band and this is a scoping strategy this means that you're only keeping the trades for a shorter time you're profiting from every price movement so this is it about this video so you can actually download these both indicators for 29 dollars but if you use the coupon code in the description you're going to download it for 100 percent free so do it as fast as possible because soon to stop working and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my telegram channel and group for more good stuff like this bye for now